Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at my 111th Master Grade, the RX-0 Unicorn Phoenix Gundam. This is the third of the Unicorn Gundams, first being the Standard Unicorn, then the Banshee, and this is the Phoenix. This was originally meant to be on the General Rebel, their Unicorn Gundam. Let's have a look and see what we got. First things first. Bling. Bling. Yeah. This whole thing is in chrome gold, and it's over-the-top ridiculous. This is by far the most shiny, glossy, over-the-top kit ever made. It's so much bigger and brighter and crazier than anything before it. Second, the frame. This time we got clear blue instead of orange or yellow or red or pink or whatever. It's blue this time. And third, oh my god, water slide decals. A lot of them. This may not say Vorka, might as well, because this has just about every decal the Unicorn Gundam had, and then some. And they're all water slide. Third, oh dear lord, the nubs. Um, no undergating. This is basically the standard Unicorn kit, with a few modifications, very few. The nubs were bad on Unicorn, they were worse on Banshee. Here, they're tyrannically bad. Everywhere you go, there's a little white nub you're going to have to clean up. You can't use a hobby file on this kit or risk damaging the chrome. So you have to clip this as tight as humanly possible and cut away the excess, which is very difficult. To cover them up, you will have to get a gold Gundam marker. This is required for this kit, and it's not included. It doesn't blend it perfectly, but it blends it well. Here you can see the torso. What I did on this kit is built a piece, decaled it. And one of the issues I'm going to have is, on a water slide, you pretty much have to give it a top coat. And on a kit like this, the top coat is going to shine up, or show up a little bit better, or a little worse in this case, because of all the gloss. You can see a little bit of spotting there. Only if you look really close do you see it, but it is there. But quite frankly, with all these water slides, you have virtually no option but to do it. You can see the decals everywhere. Lots of multi-part decals, especially on the shoulder. Um, like I said, this is basically your standard unicorn kit, chromed out, a few modifications, mostly in the head. And turn them around. On the back side, again, it has the OVA or full armor unicorn legs, a slight modification on the knees. But basically, this is a chromed out bling Gundam, or unicorn Gundam. And here is next to the predecessor, you can see. There's some modifications to the head, mostly on the horn, of course, but on the back of the sides of the head as well, just for different movement. This V-fin, or this horn, is much bigger than the standard unicorn. See, the decals are almost identical, too. There are some changes on the shoulders, of course, but very similar decals, very similar look. Accessories. Big beam magnum once again. Exact same beam magnum as the Unicorn Gundam. No changes at all, even the decals are the same. And you get two extra ammo packs, which of course can be put on the skirt armor if you wish. Also, the bazooka. The exact same bazooka as the Unicorn. Again, even the decals are exactly the same. No changes. You can remove the ammo pack if you want. You also get a shield, which is exactly the same as the unicorn, I, albeit a color swap. And the fact that you get two of them. Now you can use one of these as the standard shield if you want. You can put it on his arm and all that. But what this, these are meant to be is part of the backpack. This is the modified shield we saw in the Banshee Norn. And what it does basically is it's two extra add-on pieces to the shield. And you can see all these gray pieces here to mix it up. Those are stickers that they give you, and they suck. So I went ahead and painted them. It's kind of odd using dark gray paint over the gloss gold, but honestly it does look better this way. It breaks up the monotony of all that gold. And that's the way it's supposed to hook together. It literally just snaps right on top of the original unicorn shield. As so. 
And this is a big, heavy piece of machinery or plastic or whatever. And I, as soon as I built this thing, I was like, ooh, I am very, very nervous about the weight issues on this kit. Unicorn was already known for some weight issues. This ain't gonna help. But you can see, very, very shiny. The way it's gonna work, as you see, mounts on the back, and there you go. And remember those weight issues? Yeah, <laughs> you, this kit cannot stand at all. It is ridiculously back heavy. Even putting the backpack on, he's going over. So action base, 100% required. Decals on the back, again, multi-part decals, the big zero three, lots of very large decals on the shields. Had to give it a top coat just because all those decals, you kind of have no choice. Can't get a little spotty there, but again, all these decals, you pretty much have to give it a top coat. And all in all, I probably would have preferred if they just did dry transfer for this, but what you going to do? But like I said, action base. Required. It's insanely back heavy. You have no option. So, if you get this kit, and this is an expensive kit, you got to buy, so far, a gold Gundam marker and an action base just to get this kit going. Oh, and once more, the action base connection they give you sucks. It's terrible. But, there's an easy way around that. One of the pieces that come with any action base hooks right in, and that works fine. So, I would be more critical of that, but if you can buy the action base, you've got that piece. Problem solved. Transformation. I'm not going to go through all this. You've seen it before. The blue frame peeking through, and the blue really does highlight this. This is one of those kits, or one of these unicorn kits that You'll probably never have in Unicorn mode. You, if you're going to have it, you're going to have them displayed like this. Because he really does pop that blue against that gold. The horn, they give you three types. The standard connect, or the standard horn, a transforming horn, which sucks horribly. I mean, it's just, it's bad. Yeah, it just falls apart. But they give you a split horn in one solid piece. That's what I used here. But that transformation horn is, yeah, it's a waste of time. Don't even bother with it. Now, the transformation of the shields I will go over. First, you split it in two, like you would a normal shield, and spread out the wings, just like you would the normal shield. And again, these are very heavy. Again, on the top piece, you will spread out the upper wings and the lower wings, revealing more psycho frame inside. Again, here's where that multi-part decal comes in. You see the GR, General Revel and the 03 splitting. So that's a really tricky decal and they're big. On the bottom half, you spread out these wings as well and there's some secondary wings made out of psycho frame inside. So you have that spread out and this is a really wild looking setup when it's all done. Actually does look really nice all things considered. Now you got it all mounted on the back, do the full transformation, which is kind of tricky once you have everything hooked together. He's on the action base, it's solid, it's no problem, and let's just be honest, folks, it looks jaw-droppingly amazing. If this kit has one thing going for it, it's just a beautiful-looking kit. It stands there, and it looks glorious. It looks like some kind of award you get. The blue psycho frame, this thing just glows without anything happening to it. Beautiful. Put this sucker under a black light, gets even wilder. You can see the blue kind of lighting up and it reflects off the gold, so the whole thing almost looks kind of blue. Honestly, my camera doesn't quite do it justice enough. It really does look kind of cool. Doesn't look like any other unicorn kit under a black light, just with all that chrome. You can see the blue lighting up a little bit more, because that's lighting up, it almost looks like the whole kit is turning a kind of a gold blue. Really does. Look really, really impressive. Final thoughts on this kit? To be honest, guys, I just can't give this kit a thumbs up. This kit has one thing going for it. It looks really cool. That's the only thing it's got going for it. Every other flaw with the Unicorn is here amplified by 10. The balance is horrendously bad. The posability is poor, even worse than the Unicorn. 
the build is quite frankly just not fun it's so aggravating and frustrating and working with this kit is such a pain in the butt and the unicorn was close to that this is so much worse this kit comes down to I'm happy I have it in my collection because it looks so neat but quite frankly I don't want to build this kit again if I could go back in time and tell myself not to buy it I would just because I don't want to deal with this kit it's just more trouble than it's worth so no thumbs up on this kit well gang thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this review hope you found it informative if you got any questions, please ask them. I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, please leave a comment. You guys know I love reading them. And I'll see you guys next time with another review. Oh, and one more thing. Wow. Wow. Just such an honor. King of all Gumpa. Really, it is such an honor. Um, I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank my fans, of course. And I'd like to thank my manager, Ed. I... Why does it say Queen of All Gumplay? And why does it say Prime 92?